o saka pagtuo. O saka tingog. O saka katawahan. Cebu Catholic Television Network. Network. Gikan sa News Center sa Cebu Catholic Television Network. CCTN 47. Aniyan na ang mga nagunang balita sa alas 12. Uluhan sa mga balita sa alas 12. Giilang suspek sa kamatayan sa Saka Sales Lady, Mi Amkun sa Nabuhat. Mga trabahante sa Cebu City Hall, gipainumdaman nga magbaton o maayong pamata. Mayong unto sa nga ni Dennis Tabar, ako si Gia Navarro. Kaupan sa inyo sa puwersa sa CCTN News Team, kami motod ka ninyo sa mga balita sa alas 12. O karon sa kompletong detalye sa ato mga balita, suspek sa pagpatay sa Osaka Sales Lady sa Dakbayan sa Subo, mi angko na sa krimen, apan wa niya tuyo ah, nga pat yun kini. Hugot o sardiya nga gimakak, nga iyang nalugos ang biktima. Sukwahi sa mga nanggawas sa social media. Ang kasayuran ni Ato Di Arnold Bustamante. Suspitsado sa rinuong na pagpatay sa Osaka Bende City Anos nga sales lady sa Osaka Mall sa Dakbe Subo na ito nga Birne sa Muntag. Sa sunod sa boarding house ni sa City Laguna Barangay Bulacaw, may angko na sa krimen. Si Darin Sumusot Kui, 25 anos si Dingan Rosam sa biktima. Unang nadakpan, sabi niya na police station na ginayawan, kuman maalarmang armado sa Barangay Sambag 2 sa Dakbe Subo. Mato ni Darin nga itong Birne pasado alas 7 sa Muntag. Misunod siya sa kwarto sa maglibin partner nga si Junji Indriquez. Huwag ang biktima nga si Sarina Relativo nga hubog sa iyang pagsulod yung Naligo sa banyo ang biktima nga si Sarina na wala manira sa pultahan o yakining disulod o gibira pagawas. Ang tumong matod pa ni Darren nga makigilawas siya ni sama silang naandan nga buhaton kung wala ang living partner ni nga si Junji. Yang itugaan nga doon sila yung relasyon nga sexual apan din sila managhigong maay. Sang nitigo lang sila nga maghilawas sulod sa opat nga doon sa limang kahigayon nga nagsugod na itong unang simana sa Hulyo. Apan na itong pizza do sa Agosto ng Tuosia nga musugod si Sarina nga tungon ani. Yan ang nidaritso sa pagsulod apan ni Baliban na kini na gusto na nini nga putlo ng ilang nasugdan nga nabuhat sama sa pagkikilawas. Ni Baliban na ang biktima sa anglit gusto na nini nga putlo ng ilang nga gibuhat tungkol kayo doon na nasilita ang satag sa kamang partner. Apan ni Agib kini nga gipugos din hinami ak- Suno ang siyagit ang biktima. Yakin ang gigakos, apatungod kay basa pa ang hubo ng alawas, puno sila ng atumba sa sahog ng simento, ug iyang natuog ang leog ni ini. Nagtuo si Darin nga nakuyapan lang ang biktima nga si Sarina, o maniyang matuog pinagay sa paglak sa leog ni ini, gamit ang iyang bukton. Giklaro ni Darin nga wala niya mahilabti ang pagkababayan ni Sarina. Sangit naglibog pa siya kung unsa iyang nga angayan nga buhaton. May kuha siya og burner sa butane. O gusto niya nga sunugon ang biktima apan na usab ang iyang huna-huna. Kamo na lang ang pagsunog sa buhok ni ini. O kumura ko ang kayo. Upaingon ka sa foam nga may higdaanan sa mga mag-live-in partner. Hangtun nga muaso. O kumapaong na ang kayo. Tiyang matabuna ng krimen. Si Police Colonel Antonieto Caniete, ang acting Cebu City Police Office Director, nagkanayon nga kasong murder ang ilang ipasaka sa korte karong Merkules. Mato ni Caniete, sa pagkakaroon si Kuy pa lang ang ilaga pa sa karong kaso, sangat wala pa sila makita nga doon ay lain nga kaoban ng suspitsado sa paghimo sa krimen. Magpaabot pa usap sila sa resulta sa autopsy ng himo sa PNP Forensic Unit 7 kung doon na may nahitabong pagpanglugos bisa pa man sa pangangko ni Kuy na wala niya hilabti ang biktima. Yang gibot niya nga kumpito ang gihimo sa PNP kini sa pagkuha sa mga swab sample sa pateng lawa si biktima alang sa DNA test o kung masuta ang nalugos yun ang biktima. Ilang iamindar ang unang kaso ng murder o kina kining ikiha o grip with homicide. After the report will be released, then let me just say, if there is a deposit of sperm and coming uh, sperm onto him through DNA and others swab testing, then there may possibility of rape with homicide. Si Cebu City Acting Mayor Raymond Alvin Garcia na personal nga may sa kampo sa Kapulusan sa Dagdang Sugbo, aron iyang makita ang suspitsado nga si Queen na kadaing sa Kapulusan sa Dagdang Sugbo sa nalang kasulbaran sa mong linuog na krimen. Apa niyang gihagit sa kanyete nga nilang taman sa pagdakop ang buhato nini, nakit na ang pagtaral nini nga to softmanan. Yan kung sa Acting Mayor, na alarming ang nahitabo sa biktima sa anglit o sa kinika hinos crime na ngayon nga hatagan sa dinayang nga pagtagan sa Kapulusan. Well, of course it is alarming. This is a heinous crime. Kung para ka dako, this has no place in the city of Cebu. And uh, mubitaw nga, uh, ni Anig yung kundin ay seryos kay ko pang Anig. Uh, pwede na mag-una po ni sila ipatawag. Pero ni Anig yung ko, just to show, unsa ko ka-serious, Anig uh, particular um, 
incident, no, this particular crime. And I've already told the uh, Colonel Cañete na uh, um, you have to see this too. Dili raman ni nga kutob sa pa-file o gaso. You have to see this too all the way until the end of the case. Kapasukaan ang usabog kasong karapasan sa Republic Act 10591 kung nilig ang possession of firearms si Kui o maninakuhaan ang armas ka kalibre 45 at ang sa pagdakop ni ini sa Sambagdos netong Sabado, Agosto 3, 2024. Arnold Bustamante, CCT. Suportado sa siyam ka mga gobernador sa kabisayan ang liderato ni Presidente Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. Pagsanong kini si ni mong hagiting gobernador Gwendolyn Garcia kagahapon sa Kapitulyo nga pirmahan ang manifesto aron suportahan ang liderato ubos sa bagong Pilipinas campaign. Susama so, usab ang ni mong hagiting Garcia ngayon sa 82 ka mga gobernador sa nasod aron sundon ang manifesto. Gibuti ang kini at tubaga ni First Lady Liza Araneta Marcos ato sa pagbukas sa 455th founding anniversary sa probinsya. Mato de Garcia nga adunay maayong epekto sa komunidad ang panagiusa ng may gipanawagan sa kasamtangang administrasyon. Samtang nagkanayo ng First Lady nga adunay mga positibong nahimo ang banan niyang si Marcos Jr. bisan paman sa pagbiay-biay nga naangkon gikan sa mga kritiko. Gipainom duman ni Consul Pastor June Alcover ang tanang mga empleyado sa Cebu City Hall nga ipakita ang saktong pamatasan nga to sa tanang mga bisita. Mato diya nga ang katawhan sa dakbayan moy gialagaran sa kagamhanan og hayan tahuron isip pagbubuhis ilabi na sa matag transaksyon sa City Hall. Nakadawat mismo og mga reklamo si Alcover gikan sa mga senior citizens diin dili maayo matud pa ang nimo pag-abi-abi sa mga empleyado nga to kanila. Mong walay bili alam ni Alcover ang pagpanumpa sa mga trabahante kung dili man respetuhon sa tinod anay ang matag kliyente sulod sa City Hall. Tunan ni Alcover ang Code of Ethics sa mga nanarbaw sa City Hall aron sa taon kung bang kinahanglan pa ba o ordinansahon bahin ni ini. Mandawi City Government itugot sa pipila ka mga nasunugan sa Barangay Gizo sa pagbalik og tukod sa Ilapanimay sa fire site. Samtang ang ubang mga nasunugan gikatakdang ibalihin sa Barangay Paknahan. Ang kasayuran niya to di Mary Rose Sagarino. Nahumana ang pagpuyo sa mga nasunugan sa Barangay Gezo sa Gezo Elementary School ni atong biyernes human sa 15 kaadlaw. Subay ni ini ang tunghaan, balik na karon sa pagpahigayon o face-to-face -face classes. Giingo ni Atty. Jamal James Kalipayan ang City Administrator nga pipila sa mga nasunugan ang ilang gitugtan sa pagtukod, pagbalik o bay sa fire site. Apat ang maabot sa 20 ka mga pamilya nga kani atong nagpuyo ibabaw sa sapa ang i-relocate sa syudad sa ganghaan sa Paknaan sa Barangay Paknaan. Mahagid sila nagpuyo on the river yun so... Kanang, ang katong naara sa kilid, gitagaan na siya ng silag kanang chance nga makatukod o balik, pero ipapirma na ito silag waiver. Nga, they are living on a danger zone, kaya bawa sila nga nagpuyo sila diha, and that um, sooner or later, ibalhin dyan na ito sila. Ikinahanglan ng mapahigayin o dredging operation sa sapa sa barangay Gezo, pagtabang sulbad sa baha sa barangay. Ang bahin sa Gezo Elementary School ang usa sa mga flood-prone area sa syudad sa Mandawe. Matod ni Kalipayan, nga human mag-relocate ang 20 kapamilya, posible nilang isunod ang habiling nga nasunugan nga pamilya nagpuyo kilid sa sapa. Kalaghan ng Judeani nila are all, re are all beneficiaries of the 6.5 hectares katong dito sa Paknaan. Unya, Naaran to nagka problema lang ang ilang association so there's still settling it with the uh, uh, officers and with Hudo uh, aron ma nanagit sila i areas dito o oh, pero i think na problema to sa katong ilang initial nga equity Mary Rose Sagarino CCTN News May pahinumdom ang Department of Labor and Employment kundules sa mga employers nga sundon ang mga patakaran sa suhulan matag piyesta opisyal. Kiniuman nga gideklara sa kagabhanan ang Agosto 21, Ninoy Aquino Day is special non-working day, samtang regular holiday usab ang Agosto 25, National Heroes Day. Ubo sa Labor Advisory No. 9, kinahanglan magkadawat og dugang 30% nga suhulan ang mga manarbaho kanong Agosto 21. Samtang double pay, kundugangan o 100% ng sweldo ang mga mojuti karong Agosto 25. Ipatuman gyapon ang no work, no pay nga lagda, diin walay madawat na dugang suhulan ang wala mojuti na napanahon na. Pirmado ni Dole Secretary Bienvenido Laguesma ang holiday pay rules sa miaging simana. 
Ang huwag ka to naglakob sa ito mga balita sa alas 12. Sangan sa tanang kaubanan sa CCTN News and Current Affairs, ilabi na sa itong news manager nga si Dennis Tabar, ako si Guillen Navarro. At ang iang atong Sairi 47, karon ka ng alas 5 sa apon, ang to sa alas 6 sa gabi. Musunod na sa Debadugay ang Santos nga misa nga manukad live sa CCTN Chapel. Dagang salamat, daigo ng Diyos.
message of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Cadillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family. of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Adilio and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family. Today we celebrate the Feast of the Lord's Transfiguration. And as we celebrate this Mass, we offer this for our personal needs and for the intentions of all those who are commemorating their birthdays or anniversaries today. And for all those who are virtually participating in this telecast and stream celebration. For the needs of all those who tirelessly support the apostolate of CCTN, through prayer intentions, love offerings, sponsorships, and reassuring goodwill. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Oh, 
transfiguration of your only begotten Son, confirmed the mysteries of faith by the witness of the fathers, and wonderfully prefigured our full adoption to sonship, grant, we pray, to your servants that listening to the voice of your beloved Son, we may merit to become co-heirs with him who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. As I watched, thrones were set up, and the Ancient One took his throne. His clothing was bright as snow, and the hair on his head as white as wool. His throne was flames of fire, with wheels of burning fire. A surging stream of fire flowed out from where he sat. Thousands upon thousands were ministering to him, and myriads upon myriads attended him. The court was convened, and the books were opened, as the visions during the night continued. I saw one like a son of man coming, on the clouds of heaven, when he reached the Ancient One and was presented before him, the One like a Son of Man received dominion, glory, and kingship. All peoples, nations, and languages serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not be taken away. His kingship shall not be destroyed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be Let the many islands 
Justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. The Lord is King, the Most High over all the earth. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. Beloved, we did not follow cleverly devised myths when we made known to you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but we had been eyewitnesses of his majesty. For he received honor and glory from God the Father when that unique declaration came to him from the majestic glory. This is my son, my beloved son, with whom I am well pleased. We ourselves heard this voice come from heaven while we were with him on the holy mountain. Moreover, we possess the prophetic message that is altogether reliable. You will do well to be attentive to it as a lamp shining in a dark place until the day dawns in the morning and star rises in your hearts. The word of the Lord. reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus took Peter, James, and his brother John and led them up a high mountain apart by themselves. And he was transfigured before them, and his clothes became dazzling white, such as no fuller on earth could bleach them. 
Then Elijah appeared to them along with Moses, and they were conversing with Jesus. Then Peter said to Jesus in reply, Rabbi, it is good that we are here. Let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He hardly knew what to say. They were so terrified. Then a cloud came, casting a shadow over them. From the cloud came a voice, This is my beloved son. Listen to him. Suddenly, looking around, they no longer saw anyone but Jesus alone with them. As they were coming down from the mountain, he charged them not to relate what they had seen to anyone, except when the Son of Man had risen from the dead. So they kept the matter to themselves, questioning what rising from the dead meant. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear brothers and sisters, for our reflection, I'll be focusing on a detail, one particular detail in our gospel reading today. We are all familiar with the episode of the Lord's Transfiguration, but there is a certain detail no, that I want to focus on, and that is where I'll be somehow giving you my point for reflection. Interestingly, Peter, who hardly knew what to say and so terrified, said, Rabbi, it is good that we are here. Let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. Interestingly, after those words of Peter, a cloud came, casting a shadow over them, and from a cloud came a voice, This is my beloved son, listen to him. Words from Peter, but in a short span of time, words from God the Father. My dear brothers and sisters, in life, we may have human initiatives. That's very good. No? We have our initiatives, how to go about life. Do this, do that, accomplish this, accomplish that. No? This is an initiative from Peter. Let's make Three tenths, Lord, it is good to be here. And immediately, there is somehow an intervention. This is my beloved son. Listen to him. We might be experiencing some overwhelming incidents in life. Extends kadindot sa itabo. Okay, naanid tayong mga decision, human decisions, human initiatives. But hopefully, transfiguration is an episode that would remind us: Hey, hey, hey! With our human initiatives, with our human decisions, can we still detect? If it is God's will, if it is still in line and in accordance with God's will, with all our human initiatives, are we still capable of opening ourselves in listening to God? Bitaw no unsa kay unsa sa kay tanaos ginoo ani? Have we tried to ask that question as well? With our human initiatives, can we still try to see what's God's words? What would be God's will? How do we listen?
to God's plan for our lives. We all rise and let us pray that we may listen to the voice of God's beloved Son. Let our response be, Lord, transform us into the likeness of your Son. Lord, transform us into the likeness of your Son. May the mystery of the transfiguration remove the scandal of the cross through the revelation of Christ's glory, we pray. Lord, transform us into the likeness of your Son. May we listen to the voice of Christ, who declares that he must first suffer many things before he enter into his glory. We pray. May the transfigured Christ inspire us to rise from fear, anxiety, and despair, and transform us into people of courage, hope, and love. We pray. That amidst the sorrows, pains, and discomfort of life, we may wait with patience and hope for a full revelation as children of God in Christ. We pray. May our lowly and mortal bodies be clothed someday with immortality by Christ's victory over death. We pray. Lord God, may the transfiguration of your Son raise our mind and hearts to heavenly realities so that we may someday share his glory in your kingdom where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. brethren that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father sanctify O Lord we pray these offerings here made to celebrate the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son and by his radiant splendor cleanse us from the stains of sin through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
it is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he revealed his glory in the presence of chosen witnesses and filled with the greatest splendor that bodily form which he shares with all humanity, that the scandal of the cross might be removed from the hearts of his disciples and that he might show how in the body of the whole church is to be fulfilled what so wonderfully shone forth first in its head. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose Palma, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer to one another the sign of peace. Shalom. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. A spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. O oh my God, my only hope, I have placed all my trust in you, and I know I shall not be disappointed.
Let us pray. May the heavenly nourishment we have received, O Lord, we pray, transform us into the likeness of your Son, whose radiant splendor you willed to make manifest in his glorious transfiguration, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Cadillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family.